All right, folks, here we are at another bush hogging job. This one is a horse farm without any horses. They used to have cows out here keeping the grass down, but the cows are no more. So this has not been cut in about two years. You can see based on the size of the gate over there that you have vegetation there that is probably 12 feet tall. Uh, the good news is it's not woody. So it's not gonna take much to get it down, but it's slow cutting because A, it rained, uh, B, it's a good sized parcel. This one alone is 10 acres. Uh, the trees have grown into the property and uh, the grass is very thick and it rained last night. So we got like all these factors that are gonna make this a slow process. So I'm gonna do what I can today then I gotta run out and meet another customer um, to bid another job. And uh, I was by here the other day, but ended up having tractor problems. So I had to leave early. So here we are. We're going to give it a shot again and see what happens. So hang on. services.com um, so I'm walking away at this 10 acre field there's about 16 acres in total and you know, I made a mistake on this one and I made the mistake in the pricing which is unfortunate for me uh, I gave the customer a price without doing my due diligence and consequently they got a price that was about equivalent to you know, an eight acre job of kind of this nature. I originally quoted her uh, what I thought was, you know, was $100 an acre at 14 acres. And uh, you know, she uh, said that she couldn't afford it. She's medically disabled. And I said, well, you know, that's, that's fine. I will do it for you for a thousand. I've got some time, an opening, and uh, you know, I'll do it, I'll be nice. Well, what I didn't do is two things. Uh, actually, I did both of them. I just did them after I opened my mouth. The first was, uh, when I came to look at it initially, I drove up and I just looked out the window. And I don't know why I didn't get out, but honestly, uh, maybe because I, you know, I was so uncomfortable driving up her driveway. I wasn't 100% sure it was hers. And uh, I was just a little uncomfortable uh, you know, getting out and, and coming down the driveway. So I looked out of the road and it looked fine. You know, I'm sitting up in my truck and it looks relatively light duty. Uh, so, you know, hey, no problem, drove off. Uh, after that, I went and talked to her and gave her the price. And then I went and looked on uh, Google Earth and they have a tool in there to measure uh, land. And you can select acres as one of the units of measure. So I selected acres and uh, lo and behold, the fields that she uh, find the outline to me effectively comes up to be about 16 acres. Not only that, but uh, you know, from this video footage, you can see this is tall, wiry grass that has not been cut in two years. So it's been a neglected field. The nice part is it's not woody. There's woods, you know, uh, locusts uh, along the tree line, so or the fence line. So that's not going to get done at this price, unfortunately. But 
most of the stuff in the fields is, is relatively easy to run over. So, um, you know, I'm not losing my shirt. There's not trees all over the place on the property. Like uh, what I, another one I just looked at, it's like, yeah, it's the pasture, you know, easy. It's just an overgrown pasture, not a problem. I get out there and look and big full of trees. So very slow cutting. And, uh, you know, that 12 acre job, I'll probably price about uh, 2,500 bucks because it's just going to take that long. And I'm looking at possibly renting a 12 foot bat wing to bring out and then uh, another smaller tractor to help circle all the trees because he's trying to sell it. And I know his option is getting a forestry mulcher at $2,500 an acre to come out and do it, or he can go try to find somebody else. But, you know, in his business, people will call me back. So, and, or they're not insured, one of those two things. So, um, you know, I've learned my lesson and I, you know, I stuck to my price with this customer because I told her that was the price I would give her. So I'm going to eat it. And uh, the nice part is she, you know, she's talking about doing it more than once a year. So now if I can get her on a schedule at a reasonable price for what it will be, you know, going forward, as long as she's not skipping and only doing it once a year or once every two years, this will be a good job with uh, essentially what becomes recurring revenue uh, until she sells. I think she's eventually going to put on the market. I mean, being handicapped, she's uh, just not able to keep up with it. Her husband passed. You now she's on a walker and oxygen, so uh, she's not in any condition to, to keep it up. But if you're in the uh, Williston, Ocala area, and you actually have some cows that you want to graze, uh, I heard her mention that she would allow cows on here for free to, you know, maintain the field so she doesn't have to pay me to uh, uh, to keep the grass cut. So if you're in this area, hit me up on uh, the, you know, the comments below and I'll look you guys up. And yeah, I'm giving up revenue, but, you know, maybe the next owner can use me or, uh, you know, good karma will come back and help me down the road. So uh, that's kind of where we're at now. So when you're around, give you a quick look at what we're looking at ahead. Some perspective. Wanted to show you how tall the uh, grass and weeds are. Well over my head. Beautiful day here in Florida. First day we've had nice cool weather in the mornings. It's awesome. It's been yesterday was hot. Uh, we're just not quite into the cool weather yet, but. I'm about to get started, bang this damn thing out and move on to something else. This is rough. Let's get going. <laughs> 